the 33, maybe the 34-yard line. The Cowboys offense failed to muster a single first down the last time they had it. Let's see if their offense this time can create a few sparks. Well, you know the coaches were upset at them when they went to the sideline, so the sense of urgency is there. You should be fired up, and I expect a better drive this time. Mariota's going to take it from the gun. Launches it down the field. Intercepted. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. The Seahawks take the field again on offense. They'll be looking for a repeat of their last drive. They came away with a touchdown and really had the defense on its heels. Well, it's going to be hard to repeat what they just did because it looks so easy, and it was well done by their offense. And I think when you talk about situations like this, it really comes down to one thing. Can the offensive line continue to dominate? All right, Larry, thank you for that from the studios. And halftime, we're going to transition now. We're about to get the third quarter underway. And no return as this goes for a touchback. The Cowboys talk things over at the intermission, and I'm sure one of the first orders of business was to try to figure out a way to get this offense going, Phil. Absolutely. That's what you want to do, and I think you do that by play call. So the coach, they have many plays that we call drive starters. Catch the defense by surprise. They need to call one of those right here and right now to get this offense going. Wasting little time. First down at the 41. Randall's tackled down at the 32. The Cowboys from the 32. Quick screen to Thomas. Thomas is tackled down after a gain of 12. Jim, when you get inside the other team's red zone, inside the 20-yard line, and you're down some points, you're thinking touchdown in these situations. And now on first down, they go back to the air. Intercepted. Ball is out. And the defense has it. Woodyard is able to show off those great hands and picking off that pass from the linebacker position. What a job and what a pair of hands. The Seahawks offense takes the field. Let's see if this momentum can carry over from the first half because they have been brilliant to this point, Parker. Yeah, a lot of things change in that locker room at halftime. You know, you, you might feel good about what you've done. Of course, you've got to realize the defense might be upset and is willing to come out here and take more chances in the second half. Second down with the defense ready to pounce. Brady's lining up in the pistol. Second down and a long way to go. And they'll end up losing four here. The Cowboys guessed right on the defensive side that time. They thought it was going to be a run play. They were all over it, and they got it in the backfield and made the tackle. Tyler Eifert has the grab. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. You know, as a quarterback, sometimes you got to trust that arm and throw the football past the first down marker. There were guys open, but no, he, he takes the safe route, throws it short, defense makes the tackle, and here we are staring at a fourth down. Arenas will try to return this one. And the tackle is made at the 41. And a run back of about six. The Cowboys, and I have to wonder, where are they going to be mentally after that last drive when they were moving the football only to give it away on an interception? How are they going to be out there on this possession? Well, I think it's tough. I, I really do, Jim. You know, nowadays, quarterbacks, it seems like all we judge them on, they throw interceptions or not. And once you throw one, it's out there. You've got to get over that mental block, and you've got to keep playing hard and aggressive football that's the only way you can have success. Advancing it now inside the 40. The Cowboys are at the line of scrimmage with a spread formation. Catch made. And that's Woodyard in on the stop. 
They're going to the hurry up offense and they're back to the line quickly. Second down, four to go. Mariota's minute gets to him. When you take a blindside hit like that, oh my gosh, do they hurt. And you get up, you make sure you're okay, then you try to find out who's responsible for you getting you hit like that. Third down and six. Throws the pass. Thomas has got it on a pass, had some heat on it. I like this. Show some patience. Don't try to get it all in one play. Pick up first downs and try to go down the field and score. Now first and ten. Mariota is going to scramble. A nice grab. No doubt he was going to hold on to that one. No time to huddle now. Looking across the middle. Makes the grab. Touchdown. Still more than a quarter left in the game, and with that touchdown, they're well within striking distance. Oh, they're right there now. Now you can sit back and change what you were trying to do. You don't have to play with desperation. You got it now. What you've done by scoring, you've made the other team have to come out and play and take some chances. Woodson's got a chance to return this one. And the tackle is made right around the 26 yard line. The Seahawks weren't able to get anything out of their last drive and were forced to punt as they take the field here. Do you think they are going to bury their approach, Phil? Well, I hope so. I think they will. They, they got a lot of information out there in that short drive, Jim, and you do that by showing different formations and plays. You saw how the defense reacted to it. Now you counter-react and see if you can get some positive play. I'm sure they're tired of being in the three-and-out business. Well, it's a bad business to be in. I know. I get in a lot of bad businesses. Well, the defense, they give them a first down there. They're behind. They just can't sit back there and keep bending. you got to take some chances, easy, easy. go on the offensive, on the defensive side, and just make things happen. The Seahawks are still in possession as we get this final quarter underway. Brady's going to be in the pistol here. The final quarter underway now with this snap. It's a two tight end formation. Second down and 13. Can't hold on here as this goes incomplete. Interesting situation here for the offense. They got a lead here in the second half, but it's third and long. And, and you always like to say, the football is in the hands of the quarterback, so he has to be smart. If he tries to force it down the field, I do not like his chances. And he's tackled, but not until he picked up the first down. The Seahawks are really a true football team. Their defense, we know it's good. They don't want to just rely on it. The offense, nice job picking up that first down. Eat the clock up. Keep the pace of the game on your side. Small lead here in the second half. That was a good job. Brady is set in the pistol. First down at the 45. Trying to plow ahead. They'll mark him at the 40. He's averaged about two yards a carry on the day. And it's now second down and five after running it on first down. Well, as the clock is winding down, the offense would like to just run it out. On target with Tyler Eifert. Third down. If they're going to have any chance at all here late in the fourth, the defense must make a big stop and give the ball back to the offense. And it's batted down. Aggressive call by the defense. They stopped the offense. Now they got them in fourth down. And let's see if their offense can come out and maybe win the game here late in the fourth quarter. Going for it on fourth down. The quarterback's picked up on something. He's changing the play here. And it's a catch by James Hanna. I don't know if I agree with that call going forward on fourth down here in the second half when you got a little lead, but 
The coach is confident. They go for it on fourth down. They pick it up, and they keep the drive going. And now we reach the two-minute warning. Now inside the 30 at the 29. An extra tight end on the field for this one. The Seahawks have it at the 29. He's tackled right at the 24. No surprise, they immediately call the timeout. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. Tosses the football. It's wide open. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. When you have an offense like this that just keeps getting first downs, not only are they move it in scoring position, but they're giving their defense a lot of rest. That is play number 10 on this drive. First and 10. The Cowboys will stop the clock here with this timeout, needing to preserve time. The Cowboys stop the clock in a hurry, trying to hold on to every precious second. Takes the knee. the Seahawks signal for the timeout and that's the first one they've used he'll try this one from 39 the kick is through for three the outcome of this game is probably now all but decided is that field goal makes it virtually official yeah i think it does make it official they're going to win this football game and you sit around now and you can just think about all the things you're going to tell the press and how great you are and what you did out there today to help your team win the cowboys offense takes the field and they are absolutely in desperate need of a big time drive here to put points on the board the one thing we do know since you are behind the defense most likely is going to be very conservative the first couple calls so make sure you have play calls to take advantage of the fact that they're going to be very conservative on the defensive side joseph randall with the reception this is why teams are always practicing the two-minute offense for situations just like this you have the football under two minutes to go you're losing you pick up some good yards, and your player is smart enough to get out of bounds and stop the clock. Mariota's completed his last six passes. I think that's the hardest pass a defensive back has to defend. The long throws down the field. You have to wait till the last second to make your play. That time, the defensive back did it. What a play. Down the field, and it falls incomplete. Sometimes on third and long from the defensive side, I like the fact that you can blitz. Send more guys than they can block. Make the quarterback throw the football quickly and short. Then it's all up to coming up and making the tackle. Mariota's running away from the pressure. And that's a gain of 13. Well, when you see a play like this by the offensive player, that is a great reflection on the coach. You can tell they've gone over these situations. When you're fighting the clock and you can get out of bounds, get it done. Good job by the offensive player there. The field goal attempt is good. It's good. Not much time to play. And while that field goal gets them closer, they still are going to need a miracle. Well, you know, and so I'm going to go back to this. Why did you kick the field goal? Why didn't you go for seven points? And you're right. That's what it is sometimes to think you're going to get an onside kick. It's a miracle. The Seahawks offense takes the field. And they're looking to kneel this game out. How great a feeling was it to take the field, Phil, knowing you had just to take a knee and then you could celebrate? Oh, it's the best. You get in the huddle, you can smile at each other. But the one thing you do talk about, Jim, make sure you protect the quarterback and don't let somebody come in and get a cheap hit on him before he can kneel down and end this game. 